This is Let Me Bore You to Sleep. My name is Jason Newland. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Oh, wham, wham, woo, woo, widdly, widdly, wum, and other sounds. Let me rhyme, let me not. And as I talk to you, I'm feeling rather tired myself. Rather tired. Mm. Uh. I'm going to lay back in my squeaky chair. And I'm going to try not to fall asleep. But there's a chance I might fall asleep. And I can even feel myself <laughs> mumbling a bit. Blah, 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 blah. So he might not be able to understand every single word that I say. But you might also. But then you might understand every word and wish you didn't because not everything I say may be of use because it would just be a bunch of words which is kind of goes straight to the heart of these recordings because it's about being boring and I'm constantly looking into different ways to, to express my boring side. And uh, I don't know what that, it's just my lips. So, there's various different ways that something can be boring, but it could be me talking about something that I am actually interested in because sometimes someone and someone can be talking and it's boring but it's not really boring boring not like universally boring and they may not it may not like feel that what they're saying and that the subject matter is boring but if you're not interested in that particular topic you may think you know like oh uh, don't really want to listen to this and I've, I've found in the past that usually at parties or perhaps a social gathering where you know, in the 
past. I don't really do many these days, but I'd get almost cornered by usually a man who wants to talk to me or talk at me about something that they are interested in and oh this chair is so squeaky <sighs> leave it here in the squeaky chair makes me feel tired I mean I burnt my tongue earlier I had a toasted tea cake and they're like uh, oh they're toasted tea cakes I don't really like anything they're just tea buns similar to hot cross buns and I had the toasted tea cake so I put it in the toaster well I mean it was is in bit not in bits lots of different bits it wasn't crumbs I don't to- I don't toast crumbs although bread crumbs do smell nice apparently uh, I don't know if it's used these days but in the past people that were trying to sell houses they'd have like an open house where people could pop in and have a look have little ganders have a little poke about the estate agent would put breadcrumbs in the oven because there'd then be that smell of a baking bread and It's a nice smell for those that like it. And of course, not everybody likes everything. Otherwise, I don't know, would it be a good thing if everybody liked everything? I don't know. It's a uh, eh. anyway, I had the tea cake. And it came out of the toaster. I had it in two bits, sort of in a half. But they come like that when you actually because I buy them from Iceland. And the that's a long way to (laughs) travel. That's a long way to travel. It's not even funny. Um, So I go to Iceland and buy I buy these tea cakes, and there's two tea cakes for a pound. I like things that cost a pound. It's one of those things in life. I like a free meal, and I like things that cost a pound. Yeah, that's like two of the things that I like. Yeah, two of my favourite things. Wasn't that a song by Mary Poppins? Two of my favourite things. Free meals and pound items. Those are a few of my favourite things. I like getting free stuff. I like eating free food. I like spending one pound when I buy my stuff. These are a few of my favourite things. 
Yeah, is it Mary Poppins or is it the Sound of Music? Because I know Mary Poppins was in both. She just wore different clothes. How did she fly with an umbrella? Ella, 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 Ella. Isn't it weird? So that song, the Rihanna song, is about 12 years old. Umbrella, Ella, Ella. And whenever I say Umbrella, I just want to say Ella, Ella. And I can't stop myself. And I don't know why. I don't know why. Never used to be like that. I used to be able to say umbrella. Like that. But Rihanna and Jay Z, who was, I think, also uh, in that um, song, I think he started off saying, He, here's Rihanna. One time, one time, or something like that. And she says, Eo, oh, e, eo, oh, 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 oh. Umbrella, Ella, 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 Ella. One time. I can't remember how. I, yeah, I don't remember how the song goes. Perhaps I need to do a bit more research before I start these things. But I don't feel that I can be bothered. It's, uh, you know what I mean? Oh. Dee 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 dee. Diddly dee 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 dee. Bum dee 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 dee. Baba da baba da ba ba. Baba da baba da ba ba. Ch. Baba dee bee. Baba dee doo. Baba dee bee dee bee. Baba dee boo. Always wanted to be a a singer. Not always, but I wanted to be a songwriter and singer. Just never happened. Never. I think one of the things that got in the way was uh, lack of um, talent. <laughs> Just a real lack of talent. It's it's a real can be a real career burner. You know. It's, it's just, oh, if only I had some talent. But, uh, I could sing. I used to be able to sing Michael Jackson songs when I was, well, pretty much even into my early 30s. I used to be able to reach the high notes, I'm pretty sure, when I was in my late 20s. But that, my voice went down a bit, but I can still, I can still do the high notes, kind of, but not quite as much. And I can't really do a demonstration whilst I'm making this recording because the whole point of this is to kind of wind down how you feel, wind down the day, you know, and so that you feel calmer and more relaxed. However, if I was to start singing, you'd, 
you might start getting excited and it's not fair really uh, you know, I don't want to do that I really want to stick to the point of just being boring that's kind of what I'm looking for and continuing to that's my goal my goal is to to become even more boring than I ever was to the point where you can almost think wow I really didn't believe that that Jason bloke could even could ever be more boring than he was but now it's like it's taking it to a whole new level and he's talking for an hour and there literally is no content it's just a bunch of words and therefore I think to myself I wonder if I would enjoy travelling in a hot air balloon and the reason I mention that is because I don't really think that I would enjoy that experience which kind of makes me think why would I even think about doing something like that when I really don't want to I don't mean I don't want to think about doing it although I don't want to think about doing it but I don't want to think about thinking about doing it or talk about thinking about thinking about talking about thinking about doing it and then as I said those words I started thinking about a holiday I had when I was about 10 or 11 and we went to Wales uh, and it was lovely it was really nice and we stayed like a fat I say we it was a family thing I didn't hitchhike there on my own and we all went in a car and because I was the littlest I sat in the middle in the back of the car so that was a long journey and 
I think it lasted for about seven weeks, the journey to Wales. Or was it seven hours? But it, it did seem like quite some journey. And when we were there, when we were, when we were actually in Wales itself, there is... Didn't Pinocchio live in a whale? Pinocchio, he did, didn't he? That's what I was asking the people in Wales. Where's Pinocchio? Does he live here? I thought he lived. I thought he lived in a whale. But no one seemed to understand what I was talking about. We went to a slate mine and this was a place where they they make slates. Do you know um, the things that you have on your, not your ceiling, but the other side of the ceiling, um, the outside bit, the roof. One is some, there are parts of the world where you say roof, but that's incorrect. It's roof. That's the correct way to say it. It's all about educa edu education. I'm just going to get onto the roof. Roof. What's a roof? I'm getting it up onto the roof to fix the aerial. Oh, do you mean? You get onto the roof to fix the aerial. No, the aerial. No, it's the aerial. The roof for the aerial. What are you talking about? I don't know. So we talk about the slate mine again. It's not really a gain, is it? It's more kind of going back to it rather than re-talking about something that's already been discussed because I don't recollect ever mentioning the slate mine before now in fact I don't think I've ever mentioned it since it happened and when I say it happened No, nothing happened it was just we went and visited a slate mine a mine full of slates and I remember when I got there thinking well a couple of things but one was oh so this is where slates come from because I I used to think that you just got them in shops, like DIY shops and, you know, builders, merchants and stuff. I had no idea you could get them in other places. Didn't realise they were grown out of the ground. Wow, it's free. You just got to dig a big hole, a hole big enough. So, and it's a big hole. I've seen some big holes and this is a very big hole very dirty big hole and I went down the hole we were allowed it was kind of um, it was all safe but we were able to go down in it and have a look it's like oh it's big it's big dark dirty hole I was looking into it and as I was in the little, it's kind of a, like a lift thing going down. And I started to think, I wonder if this is what it's like being in a hot air balloon basket. Except it would be going up. 
I ever start to imagine what would I actually do if I was in a hot air balloon where would I go and why I mean the why bit would just be generally why about the whole thing but what would I do and with a hot air balloon balloon it's not spelt correctly is it it should be B L O O N or B L U N E potentially B L E W N but B A L L O O N it don't make sense. Balloon. No one calls them. Oh, don't forget, you know, f for the christening and for the wedding, we need more balloons. No, say more balloons. Balloons? What's a balloon? Says the shop that you've gone in to buy some balloons. I don't know what a balloon is, sir. I'm sorry. Oh, wait a minute. Do you mean balloons? No, I meant balloons. So I don't mind balloons. I've had my mouth round a few things over the years, blown into them, and I think the thing I'd quite like to do, I don't like the round balloons. It seems a bit pointless. Well, I mean, clearly there's no pointless. You, don't, you can't really have a point on a balloon, can you? <laughs> If um, I quite like the idea of making things with balloons, like party animals and stuff like that. Not party animals. Like, you know, in kind of like a party, making... But I don't know. And I've got a question with hot air balloons so with with a with a boat you have an anchor and the anchor falls down and hopefully clings onto something at the bottom of the ocean and that's how an anchor works i think Yet, with a hot air balloon, and the basket, because you, you, you do need a basket, really. I suppose there are ways of, other ways of doing it, but I, I think a basket would suit me. But I'd want a chair, a nice comfy chair inside the basket. I mean, what's the point in floating up in the air if you're still standing up? You know, the whole point is to feel... Well, you're not going to... If you're standing on something, you're not going to feel like you're flying. So I think I'd quite like a harness so that my legs weren't touching anything. So I could really pretend I was Superman, but without, I don't know, responsibility. Because, you know, if you were Superman, everybody just wants your time. You wouldn't, you wouldn't get a second, a piece, piece, a piece, would you? A second of piece. That's the word I'm trying to get. You get always people wanting something. 
Oh, can you save me? Can you? Oh, this is going to happen. Can you stop this from happening? Can you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, listen, fella. I'm just trying to have a nice, quiet drink. Can you just, you know, leave me alone? No, you don't understand. There's this major event happening. And all you've got to do, you can pop over there and, like, you'll be there in probably five seconds. And you can just deal with it. It's a volcano. You can you could probably just put it out with your breath. And then you could get back in in, in, in like, ten minutes. Yeah, but you don't understand. This is my night off. This is date night. Yeah, but you're sitting there on your own, Superman. Yeah. Well, how can it be date night if you're on your own? Well, it's a Wednesday. And Wednesday is a date night. And it's definitely Wednesday. So, this is what I do on Wednesdays. Yeah, but Superman, what about the volcano? What about it? Well, what these villages? What about all the villagers that live, you know, on the side of the volcano? Well, they live at the side of a volcano. What did they expect to happen? Whoa, Superman. That's a bit dismissive. That's, wow, I didn't expect that. Yeah, but if you, if you, if you live, if it's a volcano, an active volcano, you don't, even I, I mean, a volcano wouldn't affect me, because I'm Superman. A volcano is that would just be that that's by a little, little bit of rain if that was like flooding on me it's like nothing that got nothing don't affect me at all because I'm indestructible yet even so I still wouldn't build a house right next to a volcano because although I'm indestructible my house isn't what about your uh, your big mansion of solitude and in the ice uh, icy place you mean fortress of solitude yeah fortress of solitude you just remembered it, didn't you? Yeah, I know I did. Mention of solitude. Mention of solitude. Mention of solitude. Fortress of solitude. Anyway, forget that. I wouldn't, as Superman, I would not build a house next to a volcano. You know, it just... So let's have a look. Where should we build our house? We can build it over there. A long, long way away from the volcano. Which is active. Which could erupt at any time. Or. I know. Let's build this house actually on the volcano. Yeah. Very cynical, aren't you, Mr. Superman? Uh, maybe, but I would like to thank you for showing the respect of calling me Mr. Superman. Because, of course, that's what I am. I am pretty super. I've got itchy ear. Oh, oh. Andre loves having his ear tickled. 
and I'll, I'll put my figurines there. And my figure doesn't go all the way in because he's only got little ears. And I don't poke him in, I don't like stick him right in. It doesn't come out the other ear. I just, but I just push it in, just like move it around a little bit. And he pushes his head against my finger. He loves it, he really, really likes it. He likes, because he can't do it himself. He can't get to his uh, inside his own ear. So when I do that, it's I get and it's giving him something. It's I guess it feels nice, but it's also giving him. It's scratching an itch, perhaps. I don't know. I don't know if he's got itchy itchy ears. He's never told me. Yeah. Imagine how weird that would be though if he could actually talk. See I've got all these ideas and all this big personality that I've kind of put onto him, you know. So he's got and I'm thinking, oh he loves his daddy and he likes this and he likes that and he's you know but if he could actually talk, he might just be, he might just be shouting at me, get me food, get me food, leave me alone, get me food, get me food. This is that might just be all he's doing. He might not, he might not have so much to say. In fact, he might take after me, and have nothing to say. He could take over the podcast couldn't he he could you know Andre's podcast yeah. Yeah. oh I'm so tired mm. really Really, really tired. Uh, so the tea cakes were cooked. You know, they were toasted in the toaster. So I took them out, and put them on a plate, and I put the other tea cake in you know it was in half and I put that in the toaster and for some reason and I don't know why I decided to stick my tongue on one of the currants in the bun and I burnt the end of my tongue on a current was in the bun <laughs> a current bun burny tongue story that is and I thought oh that's that's all oh ow so what I did I had my um tub of I can't believe it's not butter and I put a little bit on a knife and I dipped my tongue in I didn't dip my tongue into the actual carton of margarine but just the bit a little bit of uh, margarine that's on or butter whatever you want to call it and put it onto the end of my tongue <sighs> and it really did do the trick it soothed it, it started to soothe it instantly and I was surprised not in like a really big way but just a surprising way because I mean you may say well why did I do it if I didn't expect it to work but why does anybody do anything 
is my response and the answer to that is it's unlimited isn't it really because the reason different people do whatever it is that they do is for their own reasons this chair is so squeaky <sighs> but now I've got a little bit of a little bit of a blister on the end of my tongue but it's, it's okay you know technically it's okay it's just one of those things you know but why did I do it? Why did I put my tongue onto something that was very, very hot? I mean, what possible reason did I have for such a an unusual behavioural response to a hot tea cake? with a hot currant bun raisin embedded in it because the currants are one of the things I like although or if you can get them which I don't have anywhere close to me that does such things I'm pretty sure I've had them in the past where you can get a tea cake with bits of orange rind or something in as well. It's like really fruity, like a fruity, fruity tea cake. And when I say fruity, I don't mean, it doesn't flirt with me, it doesn't get me all excited and then, then run off laughing. It's, it c gives me it's got lots of fruit like currants raisins maybe not coconut coconut wouldn't work for me it's not something I've ever been a big fan of coconut I've just dropped my slipper on the floor I've not been a big fan of coconut but I do like the taste it's But then I like the smell of petrol, but that's as far as I'd go with that particular thing. With coconut, I can't eat it. I can eat it. You know, yeah, it's no law. But it's... Well, there are laws, obviously. So there's lots of laws. But I... I really like the taste of coconut like cakes with coconut stuff like that T it tastes is beautiful but it all, almost feels like I'm trying to eat tobacco it, it feels like I'm, I've never chewed tobacco but that's the sort of only thing I can think of it as being like because it doesn't I can't swallow it it's sort of it's like spitting tobacco have to walk around with a little spittoon I don't have to walk around with it you know I do I do have options other options to do other things I mean you know it's not all it's not all kind of it doesn't always have to be a specific way the tea cakes were tasty but I just I don't know something about having a burnt me tongue just it almost took the romance out of the the experience of eating the tea cakes wasn't wasn't everything that I wished for and more or less it depends really doesn't it depends what you're looking for 
Hello, is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your smile. You're all I ever wanted. My eyes are open wide. Guess I don't know what to say. And I don't know what to do. But let me tell you right now. I love you. Who, 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 who? Bidu, bidu. So this slate mine, I'm pretty sure that. It was okay. See, I liked being in Wales. I like Wales. It's a very long journey, but it's a very beautiful, very beautiful place. But what I didn't understand, okay, is how come it took so many hours to get to Wales in a car? When in when I did my NLP training in '99, I met a new friend called Carl, and we did some stuff together, and we were both sort of enthusiastic about NLP. And he he went on to be a trainer. I think he still is, but I've I lost contact with him in. 2001 I think it is yeah so I kind of knew him for a couple of years 99, 2000, 2001 yeah yeah so I knew him for a couple of years and I went up to his place I think twice to Wales and I'd see him if he came back down to London and with my recollection when I went to Wales on the train from London it really didn't take very long maybe an hour and a half two hours in my memory it wasn't a really really long train drive you know train journey because a couple of hours isn't too bad is it on a train it's it's doable I think and the place that I travelled from when I was a kid to go to Wales was only 60 miles from London so I'm kind of thinking alright then why did it take so long to get to Wales by car? And I don't have an answer to that. I just don't know. It's the same as Kent as well. See, When I was a kid, we used to travel up to Kent. And that was a really, really long journey. Yeah, from London to Kent is not a particularly long journey at all. And I don't understand it. Unless the trains travel really fast. Because I know some twains can travel exceedingly fast, but I don't know. Because what I didn't 
ask the train driver how fast he was going because I never got to meet him or her I don't know if who it was but I didn't get to ask and I didn't I never really knew how to judge the speed of a train from a passenger's perspective now there may be apps on phones and tablets that actually will tell you how fast you're moving and it wouldn't surprise me if there is such a thing which is kind of groovy really if there is such a thing but I don't know if there is that's one of those things that I don't have an answer to I mean I, I know there are apps that can be used for things and there was one recently that I thought oh I'll have a look at that and then I forgot and now I don't remember what it was that I've forgotten that I wanted to look into because I've forgotten and there's a part of me thinking well if it, it was that old voice you know that the you get told when you're a kid uh, well if it was important you'd remember it couldn't have been that important then could it me 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 well, I don't know. My hair's getting long now, and I had a shave. The two aren't necessarily connected, but yeah, I got long, longer hair. It started to go curly, like proper curly at the front, at the back, even on top, it's curly. It's like a big mound of curliness. And I don't know how I feel about it because normally when my hair gets to the curly length I will shave it all off but with the current weather and the temperatures has been um, reducing somewhat I don't think shaving my head is very pr 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 practical because the thing is you shave your hair off you can't can't put it back on you can but it'll be looking silly at least if you've got longer hair you can have it trimmed so I'm kind of thinking uh, you know hmm I think I will just let it grow but I did have a shave I had a face shave shaved my face and my chin and you know just you know facial stuff and I don't know Maybe I should have kept the kept the beard, but it'll, it'll be back soon. There'll be another one in a, a week or so. Have a beard back. Be walking around, checking myself out. Every opportunity in the puddles. 
because that's a good thing about this time of year because as it gets colder the puddles turn to ice it's just like having a little mirror of course you have to get on your hands and knees and get quite close to the ground in order to see yourself but it can kind of be worth it depending on what what you fancy eating and having ice cream with lettuce and eggs with radish by the side eating and smelling fish fingers between your toes eating jelly babies by the dozen Ooh. see I really am a songwriter extraordinaire there is no doubt I am about take it to the max I used to wear a hat but no more because I don't need a hat to get noticed because I'm a rapper a rap 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 rapper yeah swear down swear down you get me you get me swear down swear down you get me you get me? Swear down, swear down. You get me? You get me? That's the beginning of my next song. I'm trying to figure out how to ease the word uh, um, man come to my yard or he come to man's yard. You get me? You get me? Me, 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 me. A beep, 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 beep. Me, 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 me. Beep, 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 beep. Diddle, dee, 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 dee. Here's a little song. Here's a little song. Just for you, just for you. Here's a little song. One day there was a big glitz. He thought it was nice to play outside. Then came a big cow with big, big boobies. And then the piglet fell in love with the cow. But the cow didn't want to know because the pig didn't show her that he was the right little piglet for her he wanted to impress her she wouldn't have it she said no 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 and he said please she said no and she and he said, please. And she said, maybe. And he said, really? And she said, no. I was just joking. I'm not interested in piglets. So please leave me alone. And he said, but all my life I've waited for you all my life this is all I ever wanted to do I'm in love with you don't you know it's True. 
and you drew by my side especially when I want to hide because you're so big and I'm little and I realize that we may be very different different and I realize that you may not see me the way I see you but I make this promise that one day you see me see me I make this promise that one day you will love me love me because I love you I really really do you're ever so special 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 to me 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 I'm in love with you I really am because if it all goes wrong you can have me as ham so what would you say then would you be my girlfriend but the cow didn't answer because the cow didn't speak and Piglet realised how could he have a relationship with an animal that doesn't speak and then he started thinking but love conquers all even if you cannot speak we can still fall in love this is how it's meant to be even if you cannot speak we can still fall in love and dance and kiss and cuddle we can still be together forever and maybe we can get pillows filled with feathers what you say? Oh, I forgot you can't speak. I do fancy you, though. You, you know, you're saying maybe you can give me a chance. Because if you give me a chance, maybe you will fall in love. Fall in love with me And then maybe you will see There's more to me than just being picky So you should perhaps stop being picky And choose this little, little piggy I know that piggy sounds like piggy But really it's, it's kind of like a rhyme and maybe we can spend some time together forever together together ever 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 and I'll look after you no matter what the weather may or may not be whether it's snowing or hailing I'll make sure that I look after you whether in happiness or pain 
even if it even rains. I'll protect you with my umbrella. Ella, 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 Ella. So, do you want to go out for a date then? Because I really love you. I really, 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 really do. But right now I need to do a poo. I'm sorry if that upsets you. But that's what I got to do. Ta-ra for now. Ta-ra. And they both lived happily ever after, you know, so the little piglet and the cow had a lovely time, lived really happily. So that's the end of this recording. Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.